it's coffee time. Time for a rush. Whew. Gotta get my Java, gotta go get my Java. Get my coffee right now. My place called Jersey Java. It's located on 140 North Haddon Avenue in Hanfield, New Jersey. Amazing, sensational coffee. Probably the best coffee in South Jersey. That is our most popular quiche. Spinach, Swiss cheese, you know what I'm saying. Bite in. Judgment day. This is the most sexiest, delicious quiche I had. I'm so happy right now. I should be challenged. To my left, right here. Um, right there we have the Guatemala Concepcion Huisto. And then, uh, yes. So give that a shot. Try it. Sure. Right, it's got some uh, slight milk chocolate notes on there. Nice, a little mild and complex. And what, what, what about here? That would be the Columbia Timbio. So you're gonna get a little bit more milk chocolate. Um, you're gonna get a little bit more milk chocolate, and then also some lemonade citrus notes. Wow, it's like an explosion, especially after five to seven seconds. I taste all that citrus flavor right into my palate. It's really good. Yeah, it's a little intense. And when it cools down, you're gonna taste more of those citrus notes. And it actually turns into almost like a lemonade afterward. Uh, no, not just a lemonade. This is a very sophisticated lemonade with cherries and uh, a lot of citrus flavor, which happens to be coffee. Mm -hmm. Alright, Dante. Uh, what are you making here? I'm making a latte for you. <laughs> Zach, um, what are you filtering here right now? Right now I'm filtering the uh, Columbia Timbio. Okay. It's a washed coffee that we get from Columbia. Uh, the cherries are hand-picked by farmers. Um, you know, and it's a nice pleasant coffee. It's got lemony notes, uh, a little bit of milk chocolate, and then a spice at the end. Wow. So what I'm doing now is I'm, instead of doing a different, like, there are a bunch of different ways to do pour-over techniques. You can either pour, let it filter, pour, let it filter, or you can keep the water level the same. <laughs> We found that uh, if we let it drain and then keep refilling it, uh, that it changes the body and the characters of the coffee. And we actually found it more pleasant than if we kept the water level the same. So that's why we prefer doing it this way. Uh, but in other shops, you're going to see them maintain a steady water level. See, I'll show you what a lot of shops tend to do is they might keep it just there, and then they might pour really, really slowly, circling in the center. And that's just to maintain the same temperature and uh, of the coffee inside. Whereas this, we're extracting and then pouring more and checking. What are you doing now, man? We're gonna be doing a macchiato. And unlike Starbucks, we do our traditional macchiato, which is about this big, like two ounces of espresso and two ounces of steamed milk. And, uh, So what's the difference here? The difference here is that uh, we make it the more traditional size and we don't throw a bunch of sugar in there, which is cool. So you get to really taste the coffee. Um, as opposed to the latte, which is 12 ounces, it's a lot more milk. You're totally going to taste the coffee. Two shots. Two shots. 
And uh, why not four shots? Well, we found that with all the drinks being four ounce for the macchiato, eight ounce for the cappuccino, and ten ounce for the latte, having two shots of espresso gives it a really good ratio. I mean, you taste the difference between the drinks. Good-looking shot of espresso. Wow. Uh, macchiato right Locked here. Up. Strong potence. Looks good. Up the taste right here. If you need a wake-up call, you're missing out.